together every day, having adventures as we play. Up in the hills, down on the beach, always a rainbow within reach. On Animal Island, on Animal Island, yeah. On Animal Island, on Animal Island, come on. Hello. to say hello 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 let's stop to say hello it's a way to say we're glad you're here come on and say hello hello hedgehog hello fox hello pig hello monkey when friends are near we smile and say hello when friends are far we wave and say hello it's a friendly word that shows we care come on and say hello hello mr frog hello hello, hello mr. mr goose hello hello friend Hello. Hello. Hi. Nice to see you. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Let's count to ten together. Ready? Here we go. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again. Count with me. One, two, three. Ten to one. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And now we're done. Blast off! <laughs> Fox has the number wheel set up. Let's see what today's number will be. I'm ready, Mr. Goose. <laughs> Here we go. Today's special number is... Okay, Hedgehog, show me the card with the number 10 on it. I bet I can find it. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is! Now let's flip the card over and count how many toes there are. Mr. Goose, can you help me? Of course. Let's count out loud together. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many in all? Ten. Hedgehog, you win. Yay, what do I win? I'm going to tickle your toes. <laughs> <laughs> Today's number is 10. Let's explore the island and count together. Let's count together. 10. There are 10 apples. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now count them with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many apples in all? Ten. Yeah! Come on, Wigglebugs, snack time! We're about to practice our counting together. Come on! One, two, three, four. Don't stop now, let's count some more. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're doing great. When we see some flowers or butterflies or stars, we count so we can find out how many things there are. Bum, ba, da, bum, bum. Let's look for things to count. One, two, three, four. Four sea stars. Now let's count shells together. One, two, three. How many in all? Three. Yeah, you got it. Now you try, Hedgehog. Count the rocks. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. So how many rocks are there in all? Six! You did it! Thanks, Monkey. Hey, I have an idea. Let's count all the grains of sand on the beach. Yeah! Yeah! That may take a while. See you soon. Let's count wiggle bugs together. Ten. <laughs> there are ten wiggle bugs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How many wiggle bugs in all? Ten. That's right. Let's take their pictures. Say cheese. <laughs> Thank you for helping me take that picture. It's story time. Gather round, everyone. What book are we reading? We're reading this one. It's called Don't Wake the Baby. In this story, a brother and sister try to be very quiet so they don't wake the baby. Let's see if they're successful. Let's begin. Don't Wake the Baby. Written and illustrated by Win T. Kim Lien, translated by Alicia Berger. Ever since Mom came back with the baby, Eve and John have not been happy. They are not allowed to make noise when the baby is sleeping. But the baby is always sleeping. They are not allowed to run in the house. They are not allowed to chat at snack time. They are not allowed to scream no matter what. But the toughest rule is this one. When the baby is asleep, Eve and John must whisper. If they want to laugh, they can only giggle softly. But one day... The story they are reading is so funny that they can't help laughing. Oh, no! The baby is sleeping! The baby wakes up crying. Mom is angry. She yells at them to go play outside. Eve is sad. She doesn't like being yelled at. John comforts her. He says that it will be more fun to play outside. They can be as loud as they want. After playing soccer for a while, Eve and John are happy again. John kicks the ball. Goal! The ball flies across the garden. Bang! Oh no, the baby is awake. 
What will happen now? The baby cries. The baby is so loud that his crying breaks the milk bottle. It cracks the pot. It cracks the window. The baby is so loud that his crying lifts the roof off. Their brother won't stop crying. Eve and John rush inside. Eve holds the baby and sings, but the baby keeps crying. John dances. He does tricks, but the baby keeps crying. What makes a baby stop crying? Oh, soon Eve and John are crying, too. Mom picks up the baby. She comforts him. She sings a lullaby. The baby stops crying. Now Eve and John understand. It's impossible for babies to be quiet, so it's better to just not make noise. Shh. The end. Thank you, Mr. Goose. Thank you for reading with me. Kids, it's time for a sing-along with Mr. Frog. Yay! Remember to say hello when you see him. Hello, kids. Hello, Mr. Frog. Today's song is about a dog called Bingo. I'll sing the first verse, then you sing along with me, okay? There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name. Oh, B I N G O, B I N G O, B I N G O, and Bingo was his name. Oh, now you'll all sing along with me, but this time we'll replace the first letter of Bingo's name with a hand clap. I don't understand. That's okay. Just follow along. Everybody sing. There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name O I N G O I N G O I N G O and Bingo was his name O That was fun Good Now replace the first two letters with hand claps Everybody sing There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name O N G O NGO, NGO, and Bingo was his name. Oh, now three hand claps. Here we go. There was a farmer had a dog, and Bingo was his name. Oh, Geo, 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 and Bingo was his name. Oh, splendid. Let's do four hand claps. There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name. Oh, 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 and Bingo was his name. Oh, last verse. Everybody sing and clap. There was a farmer had a dog and Bingo was his name. Oh. Bingo was his name oh. You did it! Yay! <laughs> Thank you for singing with me. Goodbye! Thank you, Mr. Frog! Here's something we already did. Let's do it again. Hey, everybody! Let's practice our letters by playing the alphabet game. Yay! I want to hear you, too! Let's all play the alphabet game when I show you a letter. Say its name. Are you ready? Yeah! What's this letter? K! What's this letter? V! What's this letter? W! What's this letter? Y! Now let's do it fast. W! Everybody. That's how you play the alphabet.
the game when you see a letter. You say its name. Woo! The letter B. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mr. Goose, can we trace a letter? Absolutely. Let's practice making the letter Y. Who can think of a fun way to do it? I know! Let's trace letters with a glue stick! Well, that sounds like a great idea. Fox, why don't you go first? Okay! Why? Great! I'll try it! <laughs> Why? Ah. Terrific tracing! Now, let's trace the lowercase letter. I'll trace the next one. Why? Nice job. I want to try. <laughs> Why? You did it! Let's look at the letters we made. What's this letter? Y! Exactly! Uppercase Y. And what's this letter? Y! That's right! Lowercase Y. Nice job! Wow! Wow! Cool! Nice work, everybody! Thank you, Mr. Goose! Why? Monkey! Monkey! Hmm, where is he? <laughs> oh, what was that? <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> Look! <laughs> Where do you think Monkey is? Hi! <laughs> Yay! Hi, Monkey! Hi, Hedgehog! You found me! No, we found you! <laughs> and now it's time to say goodbye. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, let's stop to say goodbye before we say hello again. We need to say goodbye. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye. 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 <laughs> Time to rest. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Good. Listen. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep And doesn't know where to find them Leave them alone and they'll come home Bringing their tails behind them Little 
Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home, bringing their tails behind them. lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home, bringing their tails behind them. <laughs>